Did up Brad obviously uh, didn't lose any time, which is the main consideration for the day. Um, and Eddie was going to go for the stage, and I think he bridged across really, really well. Um, but I think, by, as you saw, by the time he got there, I think he just about run out of legs. Edward, just getting across to uh, to Fabian must have been very, very hard work. Can you just talk us through the final kilometre? Oh, it was really hard to, uh, to get across there, and uh, he was rolling really hard. So uh, I didn't have any legs to do on a sprinting end there, but uh, I'm happy to get third. And uh, the legs are there, and uh, look forward to help Bradley and the team. Also, more chance for myself. Good effort, um, but all in all, it was uh, it was important that Brad didn't lose any time, and it's pretty sketchy time. Froomey punctured with about 15k to go, which took him out, which was you know tough on Froomey. Mick crashed, obviously, um, which again was um, you know which was disappointing, but he'd be all right. But I don't think you know he got really nervous once that first crash happened, and from then on in, it was pretty sketchy. Yeah, but. I was pretty lucky actually. Um, Kind of like almost come to a stop before I crashed after the incident, so you came out. So. <laughs> Totora, <laughs> you're uh, it's a miracle to get through without a crash. Okay, we were scanning our screens for Brad with between 10 and 20k to go. Did anything happen to Brad mechanical? Or? No, I think he just um, it drifted back a little bit and then it was with Birdie. So they knew along that flat straight, where it was a tailwind, that he was actually just going to come around. And he was quite confident, you know, that look that um, on the climb, you'll notice he came around and just cruised around. It was easier to move up on a climb than it was on the on, on the flat, obviously, with a tailwind. So you just waited for that and, and, and moved up very easily on the climb. And those short, punchy climbs, some people have tried to attack Brad on those sorts of climbs in the past. How impressed were you with him staying with him? Well, I, I think, as you saw today, you know, as everybody's going full gas up there, he was riding there on the outside, taking, you know, taking... Uh, 10, 15, 20 places, so I think he's comfortable. I don't think that's still the case anymore.